and I'm buying a house. And this is the house. Is that a pretty house? You like that house? Back in the day, they had a thing called NENQ loans, non-escalating, non-qualifying loans. You for forty-five dollars, you could take over somebody else's loan. Just come in and take over their loan, and then make the payments for the rest of the duration of the loan, and then it was paid off. It was a beautiful thing, and then a new law was passed. <laughs> How many of you know they're all bought? It don't matter which side they're on. They're all bought. They're all bought and paid for. So they, they introduced a new law called Garn St. Germain Federal Depository Institutions Act of 1982. And in the Garn St. Germain Act, it gave the banks the right to put in the mortgage a clause called the Due Upon Sale Clause. You heard about that? I bet it's in your mortgage. Well, that was the law that gave them the right to do that. So I went, oh, hold on now, wait a minute. I liked what I was doing, taking over somebody else's loan, not going to the bank, not qualifying for a loan. Let me read this thing. And all of a sudden, I read that 1701JD38C, and there it was an exception to the law. When a person places their property in trust for estate planning purposes, the lender is, listen to me, prohibited from calling the loan due. So all I needed to do is learn about them they call trust. So I mean, that was a good thing. So that's exactly what I did. I am the nation's foremost expert on a thing called trust land trusts and personal property trusts and you see because of that I was able to buy other houses and other houses and other houses and other houses and since then I me I have never been to the bank and I have never qualified for a loan on a single family or small multifamily property is that a beautiful thing yeah baby aha uh -huh, you are listening what? Randolph and I had a conversation today. Randolph Ford in the back, say hi, Randolph. Hi. So he picked me up over at the airport and I said, listen, you don't need to worry about money in the bank. You don't even need to worry about credit. All you've got to worry about is the ability to take over existing financing. Write this down. The seller is the bank. The seller is what? The bank. the bank. You see, they've got existing financing on their property that you could take over with the right tools, with the right training, with the right technique, with the right magic words. The lender will be the bank. The lender will be the seller. Now, when I learned that that was real? You see, Aunt Mabel didn't learn that part. She didn't have that knowledge, right? She went to banks and qualified for loans. That's how she bought all her stuff, because she didn't know any better. Well, I'm teaching you something better. Is it better if you don't have to go to the bank and you don't have to qualify for a loan? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Now, wait a minute. Did we just make money? Yes. If you stay out of the bank? Yes. Points, closing costs, interest, and the length of the loan is shortened because you're taking it over where it's at. Now that's an amazing thing that I'm going to be teaching you. Now, we got a tr training coming up tomorrow, 7701 Greenbelt Road, Suite 100, and I'm going to be going deeper into that. And see, here's the thing. You have an opportunity to change your life. And you really got to look at why you're here tonight. How many of you want a better life than the one you got? Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. There's no other reason to be here. Except maybe some sushi. <laughs> There's no other reason to be here. Right? 
So you've got to have a better life than the one you got. Now, we already know that the deck is stacked against us because we've got to have our own retirement plan, right? We can't rely on the government. Anybody who relies on the government for anything is not a thinking person, right? Because that thing can change, right? They change all the time. They change with the wind. All right, we got to stay out of that, that uh, wind blowing. The only thing I've found that makes sense is real estate. Now, when you can offer somebody an opportunity, and that's what I'm going to be teaching you tonight. You see, oh, by the way, I went back to Charlotte. You know what? The house was still there. The house was still there. It looked just like it did before. My mom was my first tenant. I said, Mom, we're paying $600 a month rent. Come on in, move in with me, pay me $100 a month, help me make ends meet, wash some clothes, do some dishes. <laughs> I said, and I said, I want you to take the other $500 and put it towards your debt. And a year and a half later, she was free and clear for the rest of her life. Yeah, baby, it's a beautiful thing. And it proves that when you've got sufficient income, you can disappear anything. You can disappear all your debt. You can disappear all that story from the past. It's just gone. It's just a story from the past, right? So it doesn't matter what your background or current status is. You deserve what you want, whatever that might be. <laughs> might be that Lamborghini, baby. Whatever it is that you want, you can have it. Now, this is part of your homework. You've got to make a list of what you want. Like what you want. Like what you want. Like, what is that? What does that house look like? What does that second house look like? What does that car look like? Right? What does that travel look like? See, my wife and I just got back along with a whole group of people that went with us. We went to Europe. Went to Europe for 16 days on a cruise. We started off in Italy. We went down to Greece. We came back up the other side. We went over to France and Spain. It was awesome. You can do amazing things when you've got income. <laughs> Dependable income. So we love to travel. This is us in Yosemite. Uh, we saw that beautiful place. By the way, May is the time to go when you're going to Yosemite. We're going to go see all the national parks. We've got some beautiful space here in America. See, God created an amazing, amazing world. The problem is He didn't put it all in the same place. <laughs> so you, you've got to travel to see this amazing world that's out there. It's just fantastic. We got to see bears. That's not a cage, by the way. <laughs> so we had a good time. And this is really what it's all about, guys. You know, you just want to enjoy life, right? You're here. You can enjoy so many things, so many amazing things that are available to all of us. Now, you need a plan to get what you want. And I like to start with the Monopoly game. In fact, I wore my Monopoly tie in your honor tonight. How many of you played Monopoly before? You played Monopoly before? Yeah, baby. All right. So I used to wear my friends out playing this game. Now, one thing I learned is everybody starts at the same place. Everybody starts at go. Don't matter what your story is, everybody starts at go. Then to get off of go, what do you got to do? Roll the dice and take a chance, right? Too many of you are afraid you're going to land on that chance card. Now, how many of you have any fear around investing in real estate? You have any fear? You don't have any fear? Like maybe you make the wrong decision. Maybe you can't get the money. Maybe you put it under contract. Maybe somebody pulls out. Maybe maybe, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe it's in the wrong neighborhood. Maybe I can't get it. Maybe somebody's going to rip off my stuff. Maybe. The, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and then you just stop, right? Just stop dead in your tracks. You're free. You're afraid to do anything. Now, I'm here tonight to take your fear away. 
and I'm going to do this in a very realistic way, so pay attention, a very realistic, applicable way that each and every one of you can do. I've discovered that most people are afraid of the lose everything card. <laughs> the, how many of you think if you make one wrong move, you could lose everything? Is that true? Yes. You can. You absolutely can. So we're going to be doing something different here. Question number one, do you have a proven money-making model? You see, a lot of people are piecemealing their business together. They don't have an overall strategy. they got a piecemeal. Now, let's look at the opportunity. There's 133 million housing units in America, only 64.9%. Oh, wait, that's a wrong number. It's actually changed. It's now 62.9%. They just did the census again. Our homeowners, only 62.9%. They've only been keeping up with that number since 51 years ago. And it's now the lowest in 51 years of home ownership in this country. Amazing. 30 other countries have a higher percentage of home ownership than the United States of America. Isn't that pathetic? 30 other countries have a higher percentage of home ownership than we do. Plenty of product, room to grow. According to truly a survey, even when the market was volatile and uncertain, 65% of young adult consumers said they still considered owning a home as part of their life's goals. In a more recent study, that number rose to 78% of young people want to own a home. Now, do you understand millennials? You understand millennials? <laughs> millennials, right? Right? They're coming on strong, baby. They're coming on strong. They're going to be 50% of the workforce here in a few years. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. Don't kill us. Okay, don't kill us. Okay. <laughs> and here's the other factor. Every day, 10,800 people are born while only 7,200 die. That's a net gain of 3,600 humans every single day in America. Now on top of that, we got legal aliens coming to this country. A million every year are legally coming to this country going through the steps they're supposed to take, right? And then, who knows how many illegal aliens are coming, right? So now, all of the people need housing and a job, right? So, aha, aha. So now we got to pay attention. Sit up and take notice, folks. This house, I sold this four-bedroom, two-bath house for $129.9. I know, it's Maryland. Just add a zero, everything will start making sense. Now. <laughs> I bought that for $26,000. Do you need a calculator? <laughs> Do you need a calculator? Is that a good profit? Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah, baby. All right, so our game is this. Cash now and cash flow later. Cash now to take care of your bills. Cash flow ongoingly, non-stop, right through, setting you up for uh, being in a position to retire. I don't say you have to retire. I say be in a position to retire. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. All right. So how would you like to own an autopilot cash machine that turns out money works 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so you don't have to? Yeah, that, baby. yeah, baby, that sounds like a good thing. Mm. Now, that's what I'm teaching you tonight is that business is a formula. Once you have the formula, it is completely duplicatable. So sometimes you sit in the room with somebody else and you say, yeah, but they're so smart. And what about me? And I'm not as smart as them. Oh, yes, you are. Think about all the franchises out there, right? Now, how many of you think a franchise is a smart business model? Mm -hmm. Now, why is it a smart business model? Proven. Duplicatable. Duplicatable? What did you say? Proven system. Proven. Proven. Proven system. Turnkey. What else? You created one time and it supports. You created one time and it replicates. Create it one time and it replicates. What was your name? Branding. 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 Exactly. So, aha. Now, 
Start watching and paying attention because this is a big deal, what we're revealing to you tonight. So the Street Smart system, Street Smart is the name of my company since 1992. We've been in the business of helping people to grow their businesses, learning this real estate game the right way and doing some amazing things. So a business model that can change your life is we are going to focus, we're going to focus on these little green houses. Why? Because that's what people need. Everybody needs a little green house, right? So we can talk about commercial buildings, we can talk about land development, we can talk about apartment buildings, but let's get you stabilized first. Let's get you stabilized with your income first. Let's get you stabilized with your equity first. Then we can play other games, you see, because I want you to have cash flow. So if, see, the thing I found out about big stuff is the payday is later. Sometimes it's way later. And sometimes it's never. That's what I found out about big deals. So we, we've now discovered that there's another way to do that. Is that a yeah, baby? Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah, baby. All right, so in order to get where 